Uh, I'm going to uh, begin with right direction, and I like what the Browns did predominantly because they went heavy on defense in a defensive heavy draft. Imagine that, according to plan. Well done. I do like the draft. Uh, as far as the Cavs go, uh, switch flipped. That team that played against the Toronto Raptors looked nothing at all like the team that finished the regular season, and that is a very, very good thing. Uh, they look like a team that is ready for the playoffs and the playoff intensity. They put a team that was pretty good in Toronto. They put them away, and they put them away decisively. Well done, Cavs. And uh, winning ways. As far as the Indians go, a number of ways to win. You can bludgeon the ball, or you can keep the other team from hitting the ball. And uh, over the weekend, they kept the other team from hitting the ball. They all count as wins at the end of the season, and uh, that's basically what Terry Francona has been doing. No issues with it. Okay, now I want to get you on the record. All right. You are finally on Jimmy Haslam's side of this and calling this organization directionally correct. <laughs> I just want to go on record. I believe the draft was directionally <laughs> correct. No, I actually, the only I, thing I, that I had uh, gave me pause. I was, I was, uh, I thought it was smart not to go after Trubisky at number one. Um, even though another organization saw good reason in their mind to go from three to two to get him, I do believe that the analytics guys in the organization were pushing for Trubisky at number one because they feared exactly that happening. Somebody would get him. Um, the, the thing I had more of a problem with wasn't passing on Deshaun Watson. Mm -hmm. It was trading back down to 25 again. I understand why they did it. I think it's easily justifiable. But I just think when you... If you're going to say that Carson Wentz has now delivered all of these picks because you've kept trading around, right? That's the, that was the theme of the yes. draft. People saying they got nine picks out of the Carson Wentz move. Okay, but let's look at the players that they have passed up in trading down all these times. And let's agree, I hope, that they've passed up some superstars. No? 